Okay, so I have my Hotas on uh, two of those mouse pads that you can buy that connect to your desk. Uh, I have suction cups on my mouse pad, so what I ended up doing was taking off the mounts from my next level racing that I used to fly in, and I attached it to the plastic portion of this. Now these move, they're not locked down. I can't, you can get it counter tight but not too tight, which is cool, because once you get your arm on your armrest, especially if you're gonna have a long session, session, you can actually move around and fly pretty good and pretty comfortable with your arms resting on that. So let me spin it around so you can see. So from behind, that's what it looks like when you're flying it. I can position those perfectly how I want and it, it, it's great. So like I said when I first was talking about the video, this mount here is movable. I can move it up, move it down, it tilts. And it holds my, you can even spin it. And it holds my cell phone, a tablet, anything that I want or need to put on there. Like if I'm recording um, video or streaming, it's right here. I don't have to go anywhere and it's wirelessly connected to the network. So everything is controlled by here so I don't have to get out of the chair and it works out great. Um, let's see the name. I got it off Amazon. And it's on here with double side stick tape and it's on there really really good I can move the chair with it to be in on there so it's on there pretty strong another cool thing that I have is this uh, little bitty Bluetooth keyboard uh, I used to play a lot of Elite Dangerous and I needed to type in waypoints so I would get this keyboard and Bluetooth it to my computer and it would control I can type in words and move the mouse and do everything I can and then just put it back in my my pocket or drop it with stick between my legs or whatever if I'm in VR somewhere where I can grab it real quick. Another thing that I do now is I actually put it in this holder and this is the holder without anything. It's uh, spring loaded on both sides so you can stick stuff in there. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. Push something in. There we go. And now, instead of having my thing, I have access to a keyboard with a little mouse pad, and I can control stuff with that. All right, so I took a box off of um, Thingiverse, and I modified it to hold my uh, Raspberry Pi Zero W uh, 18650 battery box. Cut a hole into it to be able to hold a fan and I have a toggle switch on here to turn the fan on and off. And that's actually wired in line with the light so that I know it's on because it's going to be under my desk. So when I hit the switch, you see blue light coming out of it to let you know that it's on and the fan is going. That moves just enough air to keep the uh, box cool on the inside. Now this powers all of my USB stuff. And this is what the button looked like that I picked up that I got put inside of there. Actually, I got a bag of like 50, I think. So that's the same button that I use for my um, emergency stop switch on my Yaw 2. All right, so how this works is I have two 5,000 milliamp hour batteries that I have a housing made underneath the uh, desk portion of my Yaw 2 to hold this thing. And what I do is it connects to my PC using the virtual here client and anything that's USB it'll send to it like uh, mostly my steering wheel and my flight stick I have an x52 flight stick and my steering wheel so I and I don't have any problem problems playing like elite dangerous or anything with it there's the latency is so minuscule that I'm, I'm right here it's not going anywhere and I have a Wi-Fi uh, 6 router so that might help but like I say, as long as you keep this fairly cool, you don't have any issues with it. If it's cool in the room, I don't turn the fan on. I just, you know, leave it like it is. But if I need it, it's there. I'd rather to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. So uh, I was, I'm going to show you a screen capture of it all later. But for right now, here's the virtual here client. So when I plug up a battery, so when I plug up the Raspberry Pi to like this battery, little 5,000 milliamp battery. 
it pops up on my virtual here client saying uh, Raspberry Pi Hub, as you can see right here. And then when I plug the joystick in um, the extender right here, it um, it just works. And there's like hardly any latency, not enough to where if you're playing Elite Dangerous that it's gonna make a difference. I mean, you don't really notice it. Uh, and I play it in VR, so um, it's pretty cool. I got, I mean, I didn't, I did not get the the pro version of the Y'all Two. I got the regular Y'all, but I also got the 360 platform. And this is my solution for being able to co connect USB peripherals, whether it's my flight stick, my whole toss, or my steering, my steering wheel, and my shifter. So it worked out great. And this 5,000 milliamp hour battery lasts for the two or three hours, whenever I decide to play, it lasts that whole time. And if it doesn't. I have a secondary battery that's the same size, just a different color. Um, I can swap out, I swap it out real quick and just keep on playing. Okay, so what I have, how I have my seat belt is I have a magnet that's screwed here. So when I take my seat belt off, this side grabs onto um, where the shifter plate goes, and um, the other side is mounted right to this back part here. It's a smaller magnet because this isn't as heavy as that part and it just grabs and holds it like that. So when I get in the chair, it's easier for me to um, just attach it.